Welcome to part three of a five-part series of videos entitled A Guide to Switching to Linux, Pop! OS Edition. And in this video, I'm going to be going over installing software on Pop! OS. So now, the way software is installed and uninstalled on Pop! OS, or any Linux distribution for that matter, is completely different from the way it's done on Windows. On Windows, you usually just run to the website, download the exe, and run the setup. Well, it doesn't work that way in Linux. In Linux, you're gonna have what's called package managers, which download software from large repositories, which are specific to each distribution. You can think of it kind of like an app store on your phone. Now, Pop! OS's package manager is the Pop Shop. This is where you're gonna be getting most of your software from if you're on Pop! OS. So I'm gonna be showing you how to install software through that and how to install updates through that because that's also where updates get installed on Pop! OS. And I'm also gonna be showing you how to install software from .deb files downloaded from the web in those rare instances where you need to download software from the web, which by the way, I would generally avoid if at all possible on Linux because it's a less secure way of installing software. And a lot of times the process is not as easy or as clean as it is on Windows. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so the application that you're gonna be getting most of your software from is the Pop Shop. And you can go explore this, and this is where our top applications are gonna be. But first, before we actually install any software, I actually wanna show you how to install updates. To do that, just go to the Install tab, and then under Updates Available, just click Update All to install all the updates. So now this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. All right, and then once it's all done, It'll notify us that we need to restart to finalize the updates if the updates that you've done require a restart. All right, so now I'm back at my desktop. Still got that notification from our last session when it notified us to reboot, but I've already done that, so I'm not gonna bother. But anyway, now let's go back into the pop shop. Okay, there are still some updates. I'm not gonna really worry about those right now because I wanna get to actually installing software. So you can of course search for software through here or through this search bar. I know it shows up here, but let's say I wanna search for Steam. I can do that and what you want shows up right here. I can click on it to go to its page and you can actually get different formats of the same application. I would lean more towards the Pop! OS deb since if that's available, because those tend to be much quicker, especially when opening them up. But if However, you have a reason to go with Flatpak. Say you need the latest and greatest version of something, or you're having issues with the dev version, then by all means go with the Flatpak. But anyway, let's click install. Debs are also much smaller in size due to the use of shared dependencies compared to Flatpaks, which have to bundle all the dependencies in one big package. But anyway, let's let that install and I'll be right back. All right, now Steam has finished installing, so now it'll show up in our menu, and we can even search for it here. And of course I could launch this, but it's gonna take a while to do its post-installation setup. So I'm gonna show you how to uninstall it, which is actually really easy. Just go back to the applications page. You can even find it in your installed tab in the pop shop. Just click on that and then click uninstall. And it'll go uninstall. You will need to punch in your password, just like just like with installing an application. And there you go, now that Steam is uninstalled, it'll no longer show up in our menu, even if we were to search for it. See, it's gone. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to install software from the web in those rare cases where you need to. The most notable example is Google Chrome. So I'm just gonna go to its official website and download it for Debian slash Ubuntu because Pop! OS is a Debian-based distribution. And I'm just gonna accept and install, and then it'll give me a .deb file, which is great. And I'll show you what to do with those after it's finished downloading. All right, so now let's go to our downloads where this is, and we can close out of our web browser at this point. And then just double click on the file. It'll open with an application called Eddy, which is what installs software from dev files on Pop! OS. All we have to do is just click install 
and punch in our password and let it do its thing. All right, so now that it's installed, we can close out of Eddie. And if you look in our applications, there's Google Chrome. So now if we want to uninstall that piece of software, all we have to do is just double click on its dev file again. If you don't still have it, you'll need to re-download it and then just click uninstall and punch in your password and it'll go uninstall Google Chrome. And if we look in our application menu, it's no longer there. Now, a word of warning, this is not the way that you would install every application from the web. Some applications that you may come across will have their own way of installing it. That's more universal for every Linux distribution. If you come across this, just follow the developer's instructions for installation and removal. And that concludes my video on installing software on Pop! OS. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. And in my next video, I'll be going over encrypting the home folder on Pop! OS. So stay tuned for that.